Yo, minasan, n domo, konnichiwa. Welcome to Why Japanese People, a channel dedicated to all things Japan, covering everything from topical and interesting cultural news, obscure trends, and everything in between. Today's theme will be Prime Minister Abe's response to the thing that's happening all around the world that's consuming our bloody existence. Since we'll get demonetized if we even whisper the word, we'll be aptly calling it the Kimono Crisis. In particular, we'll be comparing Japan's response to that of other countries. Recently, Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe、uh, announced that the government would distribute two face masks made of cloth per household, as the number of confirmed cases have spiked in recent weeks. Many felt that the move was a joke to begin with since it was announced on the 1st of April. However, they were surprised to learn that no, this apparently was one of the crucial steps in containing the spread. At the time of the announcement, many people felt that their government were not doing enough to help the stop of the spread, with most of the working population still going. To the office as usual. No restrictions on restaurants, packed rush hour trains, so unsurprisingly, people were quite upset about it. The hashtag Abenomasku, which is a play off Abenomics, which is the Prime Minister's three pronged approach to the economy, has been trending ever since the announcement. Like most other countries at the moment, it's almost impossible to find products that will to some extent help protect you from the kimono crisis, such as masks and hand sanitizers, from drugstore supermarkets or convenience stores. So, understandably, people were pissed off and thought that the measure didn't help. For what it was supposed to do. Two masks is nowhere near enough, with many households having four or six or even ten members in the household, including several children and grandparents living all under the same roof. So, how the fuck are two masks supposed to help that family? Thankfully, the meme gods from the land of the rising sun have come up with some gold quality stuff about the stupidity of the countermeasures, outlining its ineffectiveness and impracticality. This is another one, showing Abe's face with two masks slapped on, demonstrating what the general population really thinks about his damn proposal. Slap it on your face, Abit. The Twitter response has been dreadful for old mask face, with some users even trying to sell their masks online only to be denied again by Abit, who has banned the resale of masks on C2C EC sites. Here's one highlighting the differences between UK's Bozza Jono's response versus Abit hanging out in his palace. That each and every one of us is directly enlisted. Each and every one of us is now obliged to join together. To halt the spread of this disease, to protect our NHS, and to save many, many thousands of lives. And I know that as they have in the past, so many times, the people of this country will rise to that challenge and we will come through it stronger than ever. There's also been a growing number of complaints by people who have actually received the mask about the size and quality, with this guy showing a difference between the now infamous Abe mask on the far left compared to the hospital mask in the middle and the mask that his friend made on the right. There have also been calls for the government to financially support its citizens who have lost their jobs,、uh, with this guy saying that the mask is too fucking small and he wants this cash instead to support his livelihood. Just on that, actually, a quick comparison of the financial aid response for various governments around the world. The US has started sending out financial aid checks of $1,200, Korea $800, and Italy $2,800.、Uh, the UK and several other countries are providing income support for those who have lost their jobs. By the way, at the time of recording this video, neither myself or my friends have received the mask as promised to us by the Prime Minister. In more recent days, finally, there's been signs that the government is realizing the seriousness and gravity of the situation, with police now doing routine checks that people are Only leaving their houses for reasons deemed as essential,、uh, especially in busy areas like Shibuya and Shinjuku. So that is it for this time, guys.、Um, thank you very much for watching all the way until the end.、Uh, if you haven't already, please do subscribe、uh, as we will be putting out content on a regular basis.、Uh, if you do want us to cover anything, please just leave it in the comment below and we'll see if we can get to that. And then, obviously, if you haven't already, please take a look at our Facebook page, our Twitter page, and our Instagram page、uh, with the links down below.、Uh, as always, thank you very much.